The Neighborhood Officer Policing Program, as funded by the CRA, is an innovative policing program uh, targeted toward community policing. This was something that the community felt was, was needed in this time of unrest and, and distrust, but it, under the CRA statute, it couldn't just be more police officers. It couldn't just be more cars. It had to be something that was more engaging, more creative, more out of the box, more innovative. We go mentor the kids. We read to the kids. We help them with uh, trouble areas of studies. We partner with the Heart of Boynton, which is a stakeholder of the community. And um, generally on Tuesdays, they get food donations from a food bank. And we distribute that throughout the Heart of Boynton to families that we know that are in need. We also partner with the CRA. So any community events we try to attend, we try to bring the segways out. And the segways are a really good gateway for people to ask us questions. The Neighborhood Officer Policing Program has exposed both the, the officer and the resident or the business owner or the child to a relationship that would not normally be there. We have to break down this barrier of us as law enforcement and them as, as the community. So we've got to build bridges and build trust. There's been more support in the community. There's more um, attendance in our community events and meetings, more outreach, and we're gaining the trust of different community members one of our first interactions with the kids is that they're interested in the guns and stuff. They don't know you. They don't see us enough, you know. So it's, it's not surprising that they're interested in everything around your belt rather than who you are. So we, we're trying to change that a bit. So now when I come out here and I see these kids, hey, it's Officer Paramore. It's giving me a handshake. It's the proper way to, to um, introduce yourself to someone, you know. And it's just the little things I can try, try and change over time. So when they interact with another officer, you know, it's just the same interaction. They're not scared, they're not intimidated by an officer, they just look at them as anybody else. They are developing such a relationship that community people, residents, business owners are coming to CRA board meetings and they are expressing their gratitude to the individual officers. Seeing these kids at a different level, there's definitely a lot more to learn about this community. We have got to create a feeling of ownership, that this park is ours, and the police are our police, they're not the police. We gotta start thinking long term. We need to start changing and mentoring the new officers that are coming in, having that mindset of breaking down those barriers. We're all in this together.